Dangerous sports truly require nerves of steel. And today, people across the globe are going faster, falling further, and experiencing crazier thrills than ever before. Now, this group of disabled daredevils want a taste of the action. It's the thrill of doing something and knowing actually that, yeah, you are going to be shit scared. They're taking on five extreme sports over five days that get bigger and bolder as the week goes on. Crapping myself. It's quite liberating because your disability just doesn't come into it. But when you're held back by your own body, I can't break it. Craving that adrenaline rush can be an even greater risk. Going in water when you can't move your arms and legs is probably the scariest thing you can do. With physical and emotional challenges... I don't know if I want to do this. ..they're going to push themselves to the limit. Shit, 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 shit. There we go! <laughs> well, that was fun! <laughs> that was fucking awesome! <laughs> when you feel the adrenaline, you start to think that... You can do anything. It's the start of the week, and the group are meeting for the first time. Oh, look. <laughs> the seagulls can see there's a party sausage about. I'm just one of a kind. You're not going to jump, are you? I'm the shortest of the shortest. Three, two, one. Can I back out? Just <laughs> no. Go. Go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. Fuck it. I said check out a deep bit. Straight into the post. <laughs> we were meant to blend in, Janet. I've grown up being called T-Rex. Tiny arms, big legs. The fuck are you done mess about with? It's a rotator, so I spin it all the way around. I've got bits missing. <laughs> I've got an above knee amputation. <laughs> my obvious arm amputation. <laughs> Just my screen. <laughs> Using a wheelchair is weird. People stare at your tits. Yeah. <laughs> What's that give me on? I don't need to have any movement back. I like movement in my old private area back. But you just get by and resourceful other ways. For the five days, the gang will be living together and seeking out the biggest thrills of action and adventure. It's a massive, massive, life-changing experience is what we're doing this week. Gemma, do you want the hands? No, I'm being a bunny. OK. I don't know whether my body will cope with it, whether I'll be able to do it, or like whether it'll actually like kill me off. Is that the crane? In Bristol, the group face their first challenge. Oh god. Bungee jumping. The jump is from a crane, 160 feet above the ground. Right, I've got a question to ask you. If someone vomits on the way down... I've never seen it. <laughs> would you meet it coming back up or would it hit the ground? <laughs> Depends how unlucky you are, really, doesn't it? Welcome. <laughs> get, get the hearts going a little bit and a bit of adrenaline for you today. It's the first time this has been done in the UK. It's certainly the most severe level of disability that we've catered for. So there are risks, of course. It's, you know, it is bungee jumping. So if we can just stand you up for a second. First to jump is wheelchair user Paula. How are you feeling? Absolutely terrified. 42-year-old Paula is single and lives on her own in Manchester. People have this misconception that nobody's ever going to kiss you because they want to kiss you. Excuse me, dude, you've got that one really wrong. In fact, actually, probably we're better in bed because most of our limbs are a lot more flexible than yours, darling. Paula's disability is the result of an immune disorder she was born with and it's worsened over the years. Now in a chair, Paula and her dance partner, Gary, are the number one wheelchair dancers in the UK. 
wheelchair transport, giving me freedom to move around and freedom to express myself. But Paula wants to get a buzz beyond the dance floor. And so often, you want to do things, but people go, nah, nah. Let's take the cotton wool off and see what else I can do. I do need to work out what to do to my catheter bag. I need to gaffer tape it to my leg, maybe. But, OK, all right, fine. Let's do it, cos otherwise I'll chicken out. <laughs> Been nice knowing you guys. I'm going to watch okay. for a while first and then make up my decision. I don't know if I want to do this. No, seriously. You what? hold on to that. Trust all this. Yeah. Let's get you down there, yeah. I feel sick. Out. It's the adrenaline, Paula. Come on, Paula! Woo hoo! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How's that feeling? <laughs> It's the thrill of doing something and knowing you are going to be shit scared. But it's pushing your own boundaries and pushing your own limitations. You are in position, yeah? yeah. Hold on, as you are. Big deep breath. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. The sudden jerk after the free fall has caused a problem. And Paula's hip has popped out of its socket. I've got mega spasm and it really hurts. Okay, I need to loosen some things off. Is it actually sticking out at the bottom? Rotate it out and pull it up. That's it, and I'm just swift round. OK, cool. How was it? I'm really pleased to have done it. Fantastic, well done. Scared as hell. Lord, my foot's turned the right angle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Stop, honestly. Thank you. Can I have some brandy now? Undeterred, the rest of the group step up to the challenge, except Kane. Shit, 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 shit. For a first second or two, it's like, oh my god, what have I just done? And then it's awesome. I went from 99.9999999, sure that I'm not doing it to about 3070. Maybe I'll just watch a couple more people do it first. Three, two, one. to do it, because I have to. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. The minimum weight requirement is 35 kilos. What is it? 35 kilos. Oh, excellent. Just. Kane just scrapes by. 18-year-old Kane stands at three foot four. I'm like the shortest author there is. I can always get into Alton Towers as a child. This is good, but I can't really get on many of the rides, so it's slightly pointless. You give me a big kiss. Kane lives with his mum, Luann, in Birmingham. I don't see him as short, he's just Kane. He's a normal 18-year-old, wants to get drunk, play a games console and get played. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Kane likes to keep active, but his dwarfism causes issues with mobility. My spine's bent in forwards, and my hips aren't lined up properly. I can't walk for very long. Sometimes I wake up with really bad back pain, hip pain. I'm just a mess. Kane is the same height as an average five-year-old, and it can be hard to fit in. Everybody thinks they have the right to come and pick you up or mess you about or stuff like that. I don't want to be taken like I'm just a joke. I want to be taken seriously. 
This trip is a big opportunity. I don't usually get to do anything like this at all, so I've never really felt proper adrenaline before. I want to push myself to the max. Kane will be the smallest person the Bungie team have had jump. How does that feel? Comfy, that one, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's really comfy. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Wow. Where are you back down there? You sure? I land on the boat. A couple of deep breaths for me. Really big deep breath. He's gonna go. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nice one. That is Spin fucking amazing. <laughs> Good fun, isn't it? Whoa. Ah. I feel really high. It's the second day of the group's week of adventure, and they're about to experience the thrill of outdoor pursuits like never before. Shit in hell. Oh, my God! Whoa! Spread over two square kilometres, a flooded quarry in Cornwall boasts a 500-metre-long zip wire, a gravity-defying swing and cliff jumping. This is where you'll hop or jump in. God, I can see some rock down there. Ready, steady, go. Woo! 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 I just took out your hand for me. I'm not scared, so you can just launch. Well, I'm going to arm and a leg. Former air hostess Gemma has only needed a chair for the past two years. I've done crazy adventure things in the past. I've loved it, but it's done nothing like this since I was ill. I have an argument with my body every single day, or I'll fight against it to try and do what I want to do, but then my body will end up winning sometimes, and it'll just be like, ah, oh, fuck you, you're not doing it today kind of thing, and my body has the deciding vote. Four years ago, Gemma contracted a rare illness called guillain barry syndrome that attacked her body's nervous system. I just noticed, like, my feet felt really fuzzy. And I went from being able to move to literally not being able to move a thing within about three days. Gemma has recovered from the illness, but is now unable to stand or walk without support. I'm never going to be physically fit enough to be cabin crew and, like, go on my runs or go to the gym or anything like that. I'm, like, in my 30s and having issues that, like, 80-year-old women just have and stuff. I've been left with, like, bladder damage, which I have to use catheters to go to the toilet. It's things like that that weigh more on my head than the not walking part. <sighs> Landed. People ask me, like, why do I want to go on this trip? This sounds dead weird, but I want to put my body through it because my body's put me through all this rubbish that I had no control of. So I can now choose to put my body through all this crazy stuff and scare the living daylight out of it. Are you ready? Go on, Jay! See? I loved it, because I don't need my chair in the water. I can just be me for a bit, and people can see me for me and not see me in a chair. <laughs> but 
the hell is it? For the next challenge, the group will take on the giant swing. We're going to get our first victims harnessed up <laughs> and then drop you, basically. I'm shitting it now that I'm on the edge. Those who can hold on go first. You're good to go. Go on! Why are we so high? I'm not ready! Put your arms over the top, please. Up there? Yeah, I'm sort of sat down and looking over. Right. With no way of supporting herself, Paula's harnessed with a full body rig. You know that? I do hope at some point I'm actually going to be able to see over the top. Oh my God! Whoop, whoop. You right? Yeah. He said, "Try and put your arms oh, up." Good top. girl. Three, two, one. <laughs> Next up is 39-year-old Baza. If I push you too hard and it hurts, you let me know. I, I can't feel down there. Just mind you, don't trap me knackers. All right, mate. Morning. When I was 19, I swerved to miss a badger in the road and hit a tree. I know it's nuts, isn't it? Bloody badger. I still killed it. Shouldn't have bloody swerved, really. I've lost all use of four limbs. Baza broke his neck, leaving him permanently paralysed. He's now only able to move his head. He was only 19 when the accident happened. I've had people in the bar said, if I was you, I'd have killed myself. I said, all right then, tell me how I would have killed myself. I haven't got use of my arms. I'm not going to hang myself, am I? If you want to get on in life, Truth's going to hurt. You've got to learn to live with it. Since his accident, Baz has discovered a thirst for adventure. Because I was a bit of a daredevil, they nicknamed me the chair devil. I have conquered all three peaks in England, Scotland and Wales, skiing in Sweden scuba diving in Egypt. When you're doing that adventure, it, it just makes you feel normal, not able-bodied. Because in my mind, I still am. In the last year, Baz has had problems with his breathing. His already poor lung capacity has dropped to 20% and it severely limited his opportunity to take adventure trips. Doing this will hopefully reinstall my self-belief, my drive, my zest for saying, come on, I want to do more. Yeah, OK, you, you're good to go. Let's do it. Get on. Nice. Are we all ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, what was that? I have to put so much trust into people around me. It's just on a whole different level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck me sideways. Would it always be this tight? Two, one, two. Oh, oh. I think you're right. Yeah. I have to trust the team for lifting to positioning me right. What does that feel like? Worse. So. I would say it's more scary, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 No, 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 The harness is restricting Baza's breathing. It's too dangerous to continue, and everyone is forced to give up. Oh, no, it's just like squashing me. I thought I was going to break out there. I'm gutted for Baza. Even though I've learned to live with it, still definitely frustrating. I'm just trapped in this body that don't work. 
just hold on to it. Even sometimes now, I think, bloody hell, I really can't move. I do, and I just look about. I can't even pick a cup up. You know what I mean? It's weird. Mm. And I am used to it, but it still doesn't take away that feeling of you still want to do it. It had to be right, and it weren't. And you know what? It's extreme, isn't it? Things are hard to work out, so it's not as if we're trying out something that's, like, not got to worry about safety, you know what I mean? So, never say never. I'll be back. Back at their base, the group have a chance to unwind. What wine would you like? Thank you. You must have a party trade going. I'll have a party trade. I can get the head between my knees. I'll take my t-shirt off right. one tour. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. We've seen the bra, yeah. so we just need to see that. Whoa! Oh, that's Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a bit new to the party kind of thing, but we can all relate on certain levels. Ready for a game? Can we not play dwarf or something? <laughs> That's a good game. Thank you. Okay. You can only use your facial muscles. Baz has chosen a game where no one has an unfair advantage. You've got to try and be the quickest one to get it in your mouth. <laughs> Baz has had 19 years of living with his injury, but just last month, he reached a milestone he never thought possible. It's always been one of my biggest dreams, to be a dad. Good luck, Daddy. Please stay safe, as me and Mummy want you back in one piece. Aww. His fiancée and partner of four years, Lorraine, is pregnant. I've known Barry since I was about 13. I would have never have gone out with Barry before his accident. Barry was one of those lads that you'd see in the high street with his top off. I think he quite fancied himself, actually, and um, with his tattoos up his arms, wolf whistling at the ladies. He's a completely different person now. He's very soft. He's got a heart of gold. Just before Baza left for the trip, they had their eight-week scan. All right, she's so nice and strong. He has got so much love inside of him. Um, it's what he can't give out physically, he can give out emotionally. It's taken Baza and Lorraine two IVF attempts to conceive. My sperm is made in my body, but I can't ejaculate it. So we had to take it straight from me knackers. I've got shoved up prunes now. <laughs> wakey, wakey. The group are midway through their week of adventure. Hello. Good morning. Ugh. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling fucking brilliant. <laughs> Come on, we got going now. The gang are heading out for a day of water sports. <laughs> They'll be assisted by specialists who aim to let everyone experience the excitement of water. Hello, I'm Milk the Bugger. I've got no arm movement, no leg movement, just my head. Baz is hoping this is one activity he'll be able to join in with. We still have a phrase for you. Give it to me. Uh, <laughs> we'll actually clip you on, so you don't need to hang on to, to your sure. handle. Yes. All right? So it's the same sort of experience. I've got to try it today. I've got to push it. I've got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I'm on my wetsuit for some time, so I hope it still fits. This is a dangerous sport for Bazza to attempt. My thermostat's in my body's paralysed so that I can't regulate my temperature for getting too hot to too cold. Get on the thermia. Easy. Our minds are still the same. It's just our outer body that's giving us a hard time, you know? Yeah. My mind's still young and bad. Look at you. Awesome. Just in time to freeze my nuggets off. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see that. Shall I shuffle from here? First to take their turn is Gemma. Do you want some support, Gemma, to come down? Would you like us to carry you? Oh, no, I'm fine, honestly. Give me a puppy bag. No, this is how on holiday I get in the pool. OK. <laughs> It saves people having to move me. I hate, hate asking people for help. I don't like it at all. I'll just play it down. I'll be like, I'm fine. <laughs> I've kind of got on with things really well, but I haven't accepted things. I thought it was the same thing, but it's not. It's two completely different things. Because you can get on with something until you're blue in the face and just plod along. But, like, up here, you haven't accepted it. Gemma skis on an adapted sit ski. It's the ultimate thrill, skimming the water at 20 miles per hour. As independent as I think I am, sometimes it's no bad thing to having to rely on people, and I shouldn't be as stubborn. So much fun. I want to stand up now. <laughs> the rest of the group hit the water. That's amazing. That was awesome. All round wicked. Loved it. Next up is 46 year old amputee Caroline. Yeah. Can't wait to get on. It's going to be so much fun. I'm like so determined that I'm going to get up. I don't want to. Okay. Sink. <laughs> I don't want to sink. Hi, Chris. I go to the gym every day. It keeps the pain levels down and it keeps me fit and able to, to do what I want to do. It's a maintenance job. <laughs> Six years ago, Caroline was involved in a motorcycle accident with her husband, Simon. I was pillying on my husband's motorbike and approaching a corner and a car is overtaking on this blind corner. So we had nowhere to go. I was thrown off the back. He was thrown into the road. Simon was killed instantly. Um, I was yelling for him, but obviously he didn't respond. Can we just... It was coming up to 14 years that we were together. I miss him so much. He was just so lovely. Lovely, lovely bloke. After the accident, I thought, well, I'm never going to be able to do anything again, you know, my life is over. We had the life planned out. We had this virtual map that you do of where your life's going and what you're going to do. And that has just been torn up, trampled on and burnt. And I've had to completely start again. Freeze. Since the accident, if I didn't make myself do things, I would be very, very lonely. Sit down. And so this trip is the motivation, in a way, to make me move forward with my life. So as the boat pulls you, you just want to allow it to rock you onto here. The instructors give Caroline some tips to help her ski with just one arm and one leg. Now, if you were then to let go, so just let go, that will then release. Right, OK. okay? Cool. So you won't be dragged along. You won't be getting dragged along, exactly. As soon as we picked up speed, I couldn't keep the ski. The ski would go off that way. Oh, yay! Yeah. Woo! 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 
That's so frustrating. important to have fun isn't it because it just puts a smile on your face for me now that's my new life map let's look for adventure let's look for new things so. hit it last to take their turn in the water is Baza. Oh, for him the risk is huge Going in water when you can't move your arms and legs is probably the scariest thing you can do. I can't hold myself afloat, and if I fall into the water, especially with my head down, I've only got seconds, haven't I? Let's try it. Go for it, Baza. Go for it, Baza. Go for it. Baza rides on a float held down by two experienced trainers. I don't need 10 working toes and 10 working fingers to have that adrenaline. Well, you feel the adrenaline in your head, your heart. You don't think of your disability. You start to think that you can do anything. Well done, Barry. Thank you. Oh. It's a whole sort of group excitement. You're not just experiencing it on your own, and you've always got their memories to hold on to for life. Oof, we done it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one came off easy. <laughs> <laughs> I was still on the leg. You're sitting on my leg. I've lost my catheter strap. Uh, Gaffer tape works. <laughs> it does feel really good. It's good to get out. You, you know, you don't want to sit at home and just do nothing, do you? The more I do, the more I want to do now. Yeah. Which is... Right, bring it on, yeah. wasn't it? I found next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the word disabled, and I wouldn't no. put myself in that category. <laughs> We're in denial. Yeah. <laughs> we are in denial. The girl with the wheelchair. Yeah. Like I'm one leg on prosthetic leg. <laughs> We're not disabled. <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> no, we're not. Yay! After an action-packed day, the gang are back at base with a chance to relax. For some, it's the first time they've got to know other people in a similar situation. <laughs> On this night of this day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um... Weeks like this, really, that reinforced me that uh, we've got a good life, you know. It's just mm -hmm. how we look at it. And it's just accepting, like, you can't do things the way that you used to do them, mm. but you battle on and on and on. It's where you feel so vulnerable, that like you're relying on everyone for everything. It's just such a crazy thing. I've had opportunities to have leg lengthenings. Straightenings, mm. but really? I just want to be who I am, really. Yeah. Mm. This whole week is is quite important to me because it's pushing my boundaries. It's self improvement, really. You know, up until the age of thirty eight, I still had all limbs intact. Is a good way of putting it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and um, 
Initially, the hardest bit was losing him, and I didn't really care about what had happened to me. Sure. Yeah. Which is understandable. I do mm. see that I mm. have accepted... Sure. ..that this is how yeah. it is now, you know, and I've got to make the best of it. I spent the first, like, year and a half, like, battling to get better and battling, and mm. I was determined to walk, so I, like, literally killed myself on crutches, like, walking, and I've ended up doing myself spinal damage now because of me being so pick-headed. Part of me wanted to come on my own because I want to see how independent I actually am. And I think this week's need made me realise that I like, do struggle and I'm not embarrassed to say I struggle either and it's something that I shouldn't be ashamed of and I'm not going to hide it anymore. It's the final day of the group's week of adventure. They're taking on the most exciting extreme sport so far. Skydiving. I'm so nervous. I'm just chitting myself. It is a huge thing. You're going to throw yourself out of play. Right, like, come on, let's go and do it, mate. Welcome, my name's George. I'm going to run through a safety brief with you. Paula and each member of the group must prove they're safe to jump. Talk about how much movement you have. I want to do it. It could well be my one opportunity to do this in my life. Is it possible that your feet can go behind you? I so honestly we haven't do. got a clue. I've not been well for the last few months. I got told I was in heart failure earlier this year. The statistics say... I think it's like 50% of people who've been diagnosed with this type of heart failure are dead within four years. So I just want to get the most out of everything. I think with assistance, when a harness, if you were having support, <laughs> you'd be fine. There we are, in that kneeling I've position. I've never been in this position in about 17, 18 years. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Who's going first? Even saying that made me feel sick then. By the way, he doesn't need a wheelchair. He's just hanging out. Yeah, He's just not? hanging out. OK, if you step backwards into those two loops... Kane must fit into an adult harness or he won't be allowed to jump. Kane, is that all right? Uh, I don't know yet. It just feels really loose. I tuck, I'll tuck all those away, mate. That feels better, actually. Kane, I'm happy to take you up with that. I can do it. Yeah. Hey! Unfortunately. <laughs> chicken, no chicken in that on me. Let's go. All the group pass their assessments, bar one, Baza. His recently reduced lung capacity means it's too risky for him to skydive. Don't think I'm missing out because I've done it before, back in 2012. doctor said it wasn't doable. My blood pressure would rise too high. I'd probably be dead before I hit the floor and they don't want to sign the form. So then I had to take the form to another doctor and he signed the form for me. I went up and just hoped the doctor the year before wasn't right. <laughs> to be honest, all my family was there in case they was right. I remember thinking, wow. Amazing. I always felt I wanted to fly like a bird. I've done that now. Don't think, oh, my God, when you jump out, ah! Because <laughs> you'll miss it. Open your eyes, enjoy it. Can you guys all follow me, please? <laughs> Happy? Yeah. yeah, right, I need to find your little helmet. In just 30 minutes, the group will be making the daredevil jump. Freedom! Freedom! I'm so excited! Because, yeah. uh, like, this was, like, my number one thing that I wanted to do. Here we go. So I didn't realise your cabin crew. I used to be. Obviously, they won't let me do it now. Mm. I reckon we're going to do this. So what we'll do is we'll get to get the harness on first. What I'll do is I'll stick it here for the minute. It's vital the gang don't get their legs trapped underneath them when landing. 
Paula's instructor has come up with a unique way for her to lift hers. Are you going to get I can pull them up. <laughs> I actually feel a bit sick. Do you? Okay. Oh, good. Kay's fear of free falling hasn't stopped him experiencing it before. But last time, it was from the safety of a wind tunnel. I love that. There's not a word for how I'm feeling right now. I'm cracking myself. So what are you worrying about, Kane? Falling 15,000 feet. So you'll be floating down like a feather. It's going to be an experience of a lifetime. You will love it. Go on, Kane, you can do it, mate. It's going to be the best thing he's ever done. A lot of them today, it's going to really make a difference in their lives. More than they know right now. Once the group jump, they'll reach terminal velocity, a heart racing 130 miles per hour. In the plane, there's a few people who kind of quite looked a bit grey. I was absolutely crapping myself. I did have that momentary thing of, oh, I, am I actually going to do this? And then I just shut my eyes and he pushed me out. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. pain I was in. The pain went because I was just so enthralled with everything. It is quite liberating and freeing because your disability just doesn't come into it at all. It's just so thrilling. It's the whole adrenaline. So quiet and peaceful, when you're looking around and just drifting and free. The feeling was ridiculous. It didn't even feel like you're falling, it just felt like you're flying. Nothing really matters. I'm the same as everybody else. So pleased that I've done it. So so pleased. It was just the best feeling ever. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, like out of this world. That was amazing. Fifteen thousand feet. <sighs> best day of my life. The gang have come to the end of their week away. They've pushed themselves to their limits and had experiences they never thought possible. On the trip, I've learned to overcome my fears. There wasn't one thing that I couldn't do. It just made me feel a lot more happy about myself. It gave me a big confidence boost. The week's been so good. 
and that has made me realise that just because I'm disabled now doesn't mean that my life stopped. No, I'm not grieving for what I used to be because I am still that person. It was so much fun. Sammy would be massively proud of me. I can just hear him going, you go, girl. Yeah. Now I'm going to be a daddy. And this week's made me feel like I could do anything. I feel alive again, really. We're all heading face on with our demons of different things we deal with in life. So everyone needs these boots, able-bodied or not. We all need a boot up the bum. Oh, it's got sore stuff. Look, I hate the word fucking stuff. Sorry. <laughs>